Hello, faithful friends of the internet. I'm Jason Mayfield. You're watching another edition of Tear Up Your Bible Tools. A few weeks ago, I did a video on the Tombow Art Brush Dual Tip Pen things. I like these a lot. They're very cool. You can make a very customized set on these, but I was in Michael's and right next to these, there was another set of markers that not quite as big of a selection, but uh, a little bit more affordable. And they are the Audist, uh, Audist, they are the Artist Loft. Watercolor, dual tip, markers. And I got a neon set, but I also threw in a red, because as you can see, it's got all the colors I like, except red. And that's great, because you can buy these one off, just like you can with the Tombows. So these markers have a brush surface for brushy brush, and they have a thin tipped side for thinny thin. Now, these are just a little bit shorter than the Tombows, just ever so slightly shorter, but shorter nonetheless. So we're gonna test these in the trusty test and demonstration Bible. I have to clarify this for all of the people who are dumb. I'm not just writing in my Bible. It amazes me, some of the comments we get when I write in Bibles. So we're gonna test these pins on the criteria of smear, color, ghosting bleed, ease of use, and price. So what we need to do, we need to put some notes in our Bible, and that way we can look at all of the colors. So let's do that. So, let's talk about these. So they do smear. Behold. There is a smear ness about these. Smear test. <laughs> so in terms of the color, I'm I don't I think it may be that these are the neons. I'm not real impressed with the color compared to the Tombows. Uh, I think I think it could be that they're neon. I mean, I can already tell you, if it came to me between these and the Tombows, I would just go ahead and get the Tombows. They're, they're great as highlighters, even in the neon, that, that neon highlight. Or it, I forgot how much I like a neon like yellow highlighter. However, with the neon yellow, with the circle and underline, it just doesn't work. And the green is probably the other neon-ish color kind of doesn't work as well. You know, and the red the red looks really good, and it's the only part that's one that's not part of this set, so it's not neon. But again, I don't know this could just be the markers in general. Um it let's just see. I mean, you got ghosting, no bleed. This side will probably tell us more. Well, I mean, hey, no bleed. Ghosting, no bleed. Ghosting is fine. Uh it's what I would come to expect from any pen. I you know, I I mean, the ghosting and the bleeding is good, but I'm not feeling the color. So, color, bam. Ghosting, bleeding, good deal. Easy use, same thing as, you know, a Tombow. You got to deal with lids. I really don't like dealing with lids or tops. I do like uh, being able to do something retractable, but, you know, even like the pigmas and stuff, you're going to be dealing with that. So, it's something else to have to deal with, but that's one of the reasons I like those Inkjoy gel pens, is there's no top on the pens. But here's the deal. Now we gotta talk about the price. And the price is pretty amazing. I'm looking on Amazon right now. You can get 48 of these markers on Amazon for $18. I mean, that's pretty incredible. And it looks like you get such a good selection. I almost feel like I should do this. But I'm I'm feeling the Tombows, to be honest with you. That's a really good deal. That might not be a normal deal. Y'all might need to jump on that. I'm gonna put a link in the description. That 48 for 18 is... Dang! That's a good deal. I'm gonna get them for my kids, man. That's a good deal right there. At the end of the day, this, these are great value. You could get a really good value. 
I like the Tombow more in general. The marker itself just feels like a better marker in your hand. This feels cheaper, but um, it's up to you, man. I mean, the Tombow's much more expensive than this. If you can get 48 of these for $18, Tombow way blows these out of the water in terms of cost. But it's also, you know, how much you're going to be interacting with this stuff. If you're going to be using it all the time, the extra expense may be justifiable. But, I mean, all of these, you know, 48 of them for $18, I mean, I think that's pretty good. So don't be shocked when I come back around and start talking about these again. If you appreciate videos like this one, one of the best ways to show your support is to go over to jasonmayfield.com slash give. If you go over there, become a monthly partner. It's going to help me to create more content than I'm currently creating. Why? Because that money's gonna help me bring in some support and some manpower to develop more content, videos, and stuff. So that's all I have for you in this video. Do me a favor, make sure you keep tearing up those Bibles, and I'll see you in the next one.